Hey guys, welcome back. Today on Epic Game World, we are here in Anime Adventures with the new Thor unit. And we're going to be evolving him and then showcasing him. So let's go ahead and take a look at him and see what he looks like. This is the Thor unit. He is a new mythic that you get from the Cloud Pass. He's the level 50 in the Cloud Pass. And anyhow, his attack is physical and his secondary attack is lightning. So here's Thor. And let's go ahead and evolve him and then we'll take him over to a map and we'll see what he could do. So obviously the first thing you have to do to evolve any unit is you're going to have to unequip them and you're going to have to unlock them. Where did he go? Here he is. Let's unlock him. And I'm actually using the shiny ver the unshiny version here because I don't really like the way that the shiny version looks so much. So anyhow, when you get the the pass, when you actually purchase the battle pass, then they give you both sides. They give you the top and the bottom. And they also give you whatever he needs for his upgrade. So I have all of that. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose the unit. Where is he here? Thor, where did you go, buddy? There you go. Evolve. In order to evolve him, all you need is the one requirement is the hammer Mjolnir. And he's going to receive 50% damage plus Gerard. Gerard. I'm not really sure how to say that. Anyhow, let's go ahead and evolve him. And here we go. Thor Awaken. Look at him. Wow. He looks awesome. All right. Let's take him out here. And first of all, we're going to go ahead and equip him. And then we will go ahead and lock him. So let's take him out and let's take another look at him and see exactly what he looks like. Thor. Thor Awaken. Look at that. Awesome. 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 Okay, so let's see what his starting damage is. It's 38, 28, 6.4 seconds with 22.3. All right, we'll go ahead and jump into a map. And let's see what he could do. What is a good map for Thor? Good map for Thor. Let's take him. Let's just take him all the way over to... Hmm, you think we can do Cape Canaveral with Thor? Probably not. Probably not. Let's just take Thor to Marines Ford. We should be able to show him off there. And that'll work. All right, guys. So here we are, Marines Ford. And um, I forgot to mention that if you didn't get the battle pass, you can also get his hammer from the um, Starfruits. You could just go over to um, you can just go over to Beerus, and you can purchase it with Starfruits. Let's go ahead and say yes. And we'll jump in here and let's see what he could do. Let's drop down a Jeff. Get some money. And how much is he to place? He's 1,400. His range isn't huge, but it's not horrible either. All right. So let's get one of them down. Whoa. He just smashed him with the hammer. So 38, 28 coming out. 6.4 seconds, 22.3 range. Does he do fly units by any chance? No. He doesn't do anything like that. So we'll see if he actually does that or not. He probably is just a ground unit though. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade Jeff's, and then we'll be right back. Okay, guys, Jeff is fully upgraded, and we're back. Let's take a look at Thor. Let's see what he looks like. So the hammer is just completely awesome. Looks really, really cool. Glowing eyes. Both of his eyes glowing? Let's see. Yeah, he has both of his eyes glowing. Wow. Pretty, pretty cool unit there. Let's go ahead and see what his uh, first upgrade is. So right now we're at upgrade zero. 38, 28, 6.4 seconds, 22.3. He's kind of expensive here because to get to upgrade one, it's 2,200. He's going to go up to 80, 40, 8,040, 6.4 seconds, 23.4 range. His upgrade two is 3,300. That's 13,783, 6.4 seconds with a 24.4 range. And now on his third upgrade, he's going to get plus Thor's hammer, and that's 3,500. Let's see what that does. It's 19,144, 6.4 seconds, 25 range. Let's take a look at this attack. Very nice. Very nice. Taking him out. Okay, I mean, granted, they're only coming out with less than 500 health, but still, you're doing your job, Thor. Thor awakened. All right, so upgrade four is going to be 4,250. 
That's going to give us 22,973 every 5.9 seconds. So his SPA is doing really nice. Range at 25.5, not great, not horrible. Upgrade 5, 5,500. That gives us 28,333, 5.9 seconds, 26.6. Upgrade 6 is going to be 7,500, 36,756, 5.9 seconds, 27.6. Upgrade 7, 10,000, that gives us 49,000, 5.9 seconds, 28.2 range. And now here we go for upgrade 8, it's Geroid, or however you say that. And um, let's see what that does. 10,500, it's 76,576, 7.9 seconds, 31.9 range. Let's see what is he doing here? Okay, okay, so a super huge blast. Is he taking out everybody? Uh... He's only taking out the first few front units. It's kind of like a small, I guess, just a small circle there. He's not AOE or anything like that. Let's see, does he handle flying units? He does not. So he's only ground. He's a uh, physical and lightning are his two attributes. And let's go ahead and upgrade him again. Upgrade nine, twelve thousand. That's going to be 84,234, 7.4 seconds, 32.9 range. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Um, he's not quite as strong as I thought he was going to be, but he's, you know, he's still overall a cool unit. He looks cool, and he's definitely doing some damage. So let's go ahead and see how many we can place. That's one, two, three, four. You can place four of him. So four of him. If he's doing 84,000, so you can place four of them. So that's going to be like, let's see what that comes out to here. That's going to be roughly about uh, 300,000 300, damage, 330,000 damage every, what is it, 7.4 seconds. This is with no passives or anything on Thor. So there he is. This is the new Thor Awakened. And you get him from the Cloud Pass at level 50. There he is, guys. Thor Awakened. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you never miss out on another video on Epic Game World. See you guys next time.